the Pro Charger out. And as you can see, we have a major leak going on right there. All right, so I wanna to talk to you guys about something. So I'm looking at this Audi, right? Look at the rear bumper. It looks like an Audi R8 rear bumper style. Is that how it comes or did he do that? Cause it kind of looks fire. It is an A, A5 it looks like. Tell me if that rear bumper is stock. Cause I don't think it is. It gives me the R8 vibes, but I'm also not a very knowledgeable person about Audis, so I'm almost, I don't think that's how it comes from factory, but it looks sick. And the fact that he was just looking at it makes me think he just put that on. What is going on, you guys? Welcome to another video. We are going to go ahead and start tearing the engine and the Mustang apart. Uh, we are gonna start with taking the Pro Charger off today. We have to take this off because I think this needs a full rebuild. I just put oil in it and it is not holding the oil, so it's leaking somewhere. I actually don't think it needs a rebuild as far as the internals. I just gotta figure out where the oil is leaking from. Um, I don't know if that spacing is correct or if that's like pushed out. Let me know if, if you guys have any uh, knowledge about that if that looks normal but other than that there might be a loose bolt somewhere causing the oil to leak and drain out of the system so i gotta figure that out but we gotta take this off regardless so we can make this a lot easier when we do the engine swap so i have a cold air intake ready to be put on we got this bad beast right here we got 47 pound injectors in the back somewhere so we're gonna throw those in there as well and then we should be ready to go uh, this will make the install a lot easier instead of going to the shop and then taking all this extra stuff off this will save us some time so we got to start by taking the belt off which means we got to loosen the tension which is right here and then basically take the belt off and then start taking all of this the charge piping off got to take the intercooler off and then i think that's about it i know we got to plug up some lines because we got some vacuum like that one goes to the reference right here which this also goes to the blow off valve. So we gotta plug that up, which also means we have to plug this up. Our, this was our vacuum right here. Let's go ahead and get started. charger out and as you can see we have a major leak going on right there um we turned it upside down and there's oil spilling out of the pulley i don't know if it's supposed to be like that i don't think it's supposed to be like that and when i looked at it i figured that's what the problem was i think that green thing is supposed to be pushed in but it also looks like a lot of the oil is right in here so i'm thinking maybe that's leaking as well but the Pro Charger spins freely, spin it. So there's no play in the shaft. Sounds good. I think it just didn't hold the oil, which I'm surprised it's still good to go. But that's good news. We just had an oil leak, so we could just go ahead and plug that up. I thought I was gonna have to rebuild this, but if you guys are more knowledgeable about this, and if I do need a rebuild, let me know. But I think it's because one, that pulley is not pushed in all the way. And two, I think the oil drain line 
is also leaking. If you guys ran into that same problem, let me know. Comment down below. I'd like to see what you guys have to say about this, but we're gonna go ahead and clean her up. We got most of the charge pipes out. Actually, we did get all of them out. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the pulley extension how it is, because you can run it like that, no problem with NA setup. Now we gotta take the intercooler out. That's a wrap for the Pro Charger. I might actually upgrade um, superchargers. So this is a P1SC, as you guys can see. So it's not a really big blower. I'd like to at least get a P1X. So I may sell this whole kit, maybe find a system that's a P1X. Now way we can run a better setup, maybe more boost, and we won't have to strain so much to make power on this one because i'd like to make about seven eight hundred with this setup or the setup that we're gonna do i may sell sell this whole kit find a p1x or if you guys want to swap blowers you want a p1sc you have a p1x and you want to swap that is what i'm looking at we may reuse this we might whatever i can find to be honest that's what we will be running all right let's take the intercooler out and then we can start putting the cold air intake in and injectors and then that's about it and we gotta retune this and then we're good to go got the inner crawler off one thing i forgot when we did this i had to lift the car up to get that inside one thing that i don't have here is a jack unfortunately so that's just gonna be sitting there for now just to unhook all the vacuum lines like this and plug everything up because this goes to the blow off valve right here, the intake manifold, and the other one goes to the fuel pressure regulator. Went ahead and took the lines off the fuel pressure regulator and the vacuum lines to the blow off valve. So it's all laying right there. Fuel pressure gauge. And this thing is seeing better days, obviously. Look at that thing. So I need to get a new one of these. That just goes right in there. Got to cap that. I got a cap right here. Uh, so we got to run to the auto parts store. We can go ahead and throw everything back on. But look how much oil came out of the Pro Charger right here. It was just caking everything over here. Look at all of this is oil. I'm just, I'm just surprised that it still works and there's no play in the shaft or anything. Like it sounds good. And it, I'm surprised there's nothing wrong with it. Everything's good with it. It's just really kicked up with oil. That's about it. This is the math that we took out of the intercooler right there. So this just goes on to the cold air intake. Because this one's really kicked up. No, that doesn't leak. None of these are. Oh, so then it has in, to be so this. So it has to be this. Oh, I don't know. There's some right here. See it? How much shiny right here? But it might have come off from over there. Oh, no. There was oil in here. Oh, okay. From, yeah, no, oh, there was oil in here that just dripped onto there. But it's really kicked Let, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if this is loose right now. So it wasn't the drain plug, and I'm still trying to figure out where the leak is coming from. I'm gonna go ahead and try and tighten and see if any of the bolts in the Pro Charger itself are loose. But um, if you guys have run into the same issue, let me know what your problem was and what you ended up doing to fix it. This is step one of taking the engine apart, taking it out of the Mustang. So we got the Pro Charger out, we got the cold air in, and I guess we're ready to go for step two, taking the heads off and then taking the engine out and then we're ready to do the whole swap so hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button if you guys are new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button down below and uh see you guys in the next video peace